licensed games definitely earned a bad reputation, and each time a poorly executed version of a beloved franchise was shoveled onto the shelves, a little piece of our collective gaming souls died. <laughs> but rejecting a licensed game simply because we have been hurt by that specific licensed or licensed games in general before is not the solution. And it is the same with our fellow humans who have burned us before. It is not for us to apply a label, a restriction, an asterisk, or any additional obstacle to restoration on someone who has come seeking the Lord in repentance, no matter how far they have fallen. There is no place for cancel culture in the body of Christ. To do so is to place ourselves in the position of the Almighty Himself. We are all made of dry bones, but when the Spirit of God breathes into us, we become a new creation. The burden of sin that our brothers and sisters previously carried is heavy enough. Why would we press our thumb down on it and make it even harder? I'm going to give Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl a try. It may be better than Super Smash Brothers, and it may not be. But I'm not going to allow the irredeemably broken licensed games I've played in the past, even ones that were representing the Nickelodeon franchise, to prevent me from trying what may be my new favorite title. Could it burn us again? Of course it could. That is the inherent risk with any game that we play. The people of Israel failed the Lord on countless occasions, and he offered them redemption and restoration every single time. And similarly, people are going to fail us. Our favorite people will fail us. Our biological family will fail us. Our parents will fail us. Our children will fail us. And we will fail ourselves. But we must move forward with ourselves and each other, putting our failures in the past and allowing these dry bones to not only live but to be restored fully with grace and love. Let's be known as the safe place for every broken heart, wayward soul, and prodigal child returning to the Father. Christ fully purchased reconciliation for each of us with his priceless blood. And the price he paid was enough to cancel every debt and leave them in the past where they belong.